I do need a network of volunteers, and we've got a Slack workspace that rocks. Yeah, with, tell me about with it. With these volunteer weather observers, and most of them have been trained in Skywarn spotting. Okay. They've been to a basic Skywarn They're class. They're professionals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they're weather dweebs. It's yeah. like what we talked about before. And, and I know when I go to that Slack workspace, nobody's going to try and game the system like social where somebody's mm-hmm. going to send you a picture of a tornado from 20 years ago. Right. This thing just touched it. No, there, everything they send, it, it's real and it's relevant. Accurate, ground it, truth. I, I don't have to worry about its authenticity. Mm-hmm. Sure. And so when you've got several thousands of these in a statewide setting, that changes the whole game. It mm-hmm. really does because radar is only so good. The radar beam can be 5,000 feet off the ground. Given mm-hmm. point is radar beam goes in a straight line. The earth curves. And so having ground truth is just critical and having that network of people. And then beyond that, true, I do use social media a lot. There are good and bad things about it. but And there are some good, great reports that come in. In fact, while we're talking, we have active weather. I will probably have 1,000 photos and videos that come in just during the time we're talking. You're kidding me. Everybody that sends me, everybody that sends me one of those, I will acknowledge it. With nothing else, maybe a thumbs up, thank you. Out of all the weather people in the world, they chose me. And I'm honored. I'm honored that they chose me. And and it gives me a window to the world. Mm -hmm. I love that. And it helps us be better when it comes to communicating threats 